friends uh, welcome back this is the session on uh, c programming interview readiness as i already told you now this time it is going to be about functions there could be about uh, 10 quick questions maybe not more than 7 uh, uh, minutes of the time that you need to spare uh, we'll quickly make it first question void function print hi here main we are calling the function is there anything difficult in this question nothing is difficult here it's all easy we are just calling the function that's all and that's all fine so there is no issue about it now this function when you call it will go here it will then come here it will just print hi that's all this there is there is no difficulty in this function now int square int c return star dot c this is the function definition and what are we doing in the main a equal to 8 int b uh, b equal to square of a so what will you do here the moment you call square of a it will go here and what are you passing you are passing a as an argument the arguments a is copy will be collected in c so 8 will come here 8 into 8 would be 64 now 64 is the return that you are making here c into c and the return can be collected here in b so understand that this is the way we call it as call by value call by reference this is called call by value i am sending the copy and i am receiving the copy back and i am not affecting the basic variables content now b equal to square of a now b is printed so answer should be 64 there is no great deal in this now this question again the same question uh, but see that uh, there is one additional thing that has happened here this is what is included here this is called function prototype this is not required in some of the modern compilers but this is required in some of the old compilers like turbo c but is it a good practice to have it yes many people say that it is good practice uh, so better to have the function prototype but the compilers will not force you to throw an error will not force you with an error so you can uh, stay cool now here the same code is all presented here just with this change so the output will be 64 the previous question this question is not a big change now the next question now see that i have int square int c this is the function prototype and uh, b equal to square of a the function equal to int square int d now this function prototype has got int c the function definition has got uh, int d now is there a problem no there is no problem both are to be there that's it it can be changed during the definition there is no issue so what will be the output simple a is passed a is nothing but 8 so 8 into 8 will be 64 64 is the output so all these are the probable questions that can be tweaked and twisted in the interview so now next question int square int i have not mentioned int a or b or c here that should be the question here you need to take care of it now rest all are the same is it right yes it is absolutely fine you can skip int e a b c anything it can be used as a dummy variable so there is no problem and the answer would be 64 now here void square char c int square int c now is it right the same question but i you can see that how many ways a single question can be tweaked now is it right no the return type is void here the return type is int here they never get matched hence this is an error answer should be c next question void square character c int square int c now first problem is return type there itself it is gone second problem the spelling of the function s q r e where this is s q r this is never acceptable in the compilation so this is a bug the error confusion confliction in the function name now int s q int c i have nothing inside the function now i call the function by passing 8 this 8 will go here is there any operation happening there nothing is happening so it will come back there is no return also so nothing happens here so what do we print i print b so what will be the print value right now it is very simple it will be printed as 8 since nothing has happened there the 8 will be printed just absolutely as it was earlier so the answer is none of the above this kind of questions may come quite frequently there is nothing inside it doesn't mean that answer would be zero it is the default value that you have passed as an argument and it will come back as the reply now this is a very important question see this folks uh int fun int c ifc equal to 8 return c dot c now what i'm doing i am just calling fun of a and this goes here and you see a mistake here c equal to 8 what is it of type int int what is the c here this is also c here and this is also int you have got the same variable twice 
and the type has been defined twice again so this is called redeclaration it is a bug so hence answer is d it won't work now next question this is again a simplest question in a equal to 8 comma b b equal to fun of a so you go here this is caught here and 8 into 8 will come here but what do you return and most importantly here there is no return statement so whatever has happened will not be returned here hence the previous question whichever we have seen without any content inside is matching here so whatever i pass will come back as an answer so 8 is the answer hence none of the above has to be ticked uh main inside main i call main again this is called recursive call um, what will be happening as the output how many times sri ram will be printed 1 10 6 5 5 3 5 till stack overflows the answer is quite simple it is still the stack overflows so this is called recursion the next one is going to be built in functions that i will start uh, maybe shortly i'll have about 10 15 questions there i hope you had a good learning session thank you very much for listening to my channel